that mean for you? How do you get geared up? Like? Man, you know what? We just go out there and do it. We don't really have any rituals that we do. We don't really, I mean, warm up a little bit and get a little loosened up as we're getting older, you know? <laughs> you gotta stretch a little more. But, uh, but you know what? We just walk out on stage and don't really think about it too much before we go out there and go out there with our friends and our fans and have a good time. I just got this place in the other day. It's actually a, uh, it's a P bass with a J neck. We Frankenstein it. We took the neck off of it, uh, switched them around a little bit, and then this in here we did a little recording with this old one, it's a 50 model. And this is an old one too, we're just recording with 62, 62 reissue. Different vibes, different feels, you know. Some songs want, you want a grungy sound, some songs you want like a fretless sound, you know. I got enough bases now to where it's Pretty much get whatever sound you want, you know. So, my favorite's this one, man. I guess it's because when I play it, I just flip it up and just show me them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works, man. It works. You know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'd like to think that, you know, uh, I definitely. Uh, uh, bring uh you know my my stuff that i bring to the band is definitely i would think it's inspirational for everybody else and i like to think that you know each guy uh you know has that element of bringing something that inspires everybody else and uh you know that's that's what i, I strive to do is just really kind of keep uh everybody inspired and uh you know that's really all you know i can ask for as a as an artist is just you know keeping uh keeping that process going. The little brother. I'm the little brother in the band. I'm the youngest. I've always been the youngest. Everything I do, I'm the youngest of seven kids. And, and I'm, I'm like the little brother, a little poking. <laughs> so how do you, has that affected your kind of like mindset on it? Or? No, man, you know what? I just have fun with it and I just, uh, but we all do, you know? and. And, but I, all of us are like brothers, and, and I'm just another brother. Now, you guys have been at this for a while. You know, yeah, you man. Some, so you're on some new band out there. No, nah, we ain't no new band no more, man. We've, we've been doing it probably a little over 10 years now, and uh, you know, I wouldn't change nothing, man. We've had a good time doing it, and uh, it's been a hell of a ride, man. Well, uh, you know, the going back all the way to the first record and to now, I mean, uh, there's there's a lot of things that's changed and there's a lot of things that haven't changed and uh, I can't really say that um, my, my songwriting has changed that much because um, I still can't really I can't tell anybody hey this is uh, how you write a song you know because I, I guess it's kind of an innate ability to some degree that uh, you know songs uh, they just kind of happen you know music just kind of happens in your head and uh, I don't think it really changed that much as far as, you know, going all the way back to The Better Life, our first record, till now. Um, uh, there's there's no method I, I, I can say that I practice or apply that's any different. For the fans that have heard our first record, I think they'll like this record a lot. I mean, there's a lot of growth in between now and then, but uh, it's been 10 years and, and uh, you know, we've done a lot in 10 years, but it's really it really has a similar vibe to that one and I'm really excited about that. When we set out to do this record, we said, all right, we're not going to rush it. We're going to sit down. We're going to write our songs. We're not going to put no deadlines on nothing. Take our time. And uh, we've, that's exactly what we've done. And uh, I think as, as a, you know, as, since we've done that, you know, the record is going to definitely be one of our better records to date. Man, you know what? The system that we have now is pretty much like the system we had then for writing, man, just however it, however it came about. But you grow so much in, in, in the miles that you travel, and you do so much together that you really know those people so well that it's, it's uh, you know, you, you become a family and you, and you write as such, and it's, it's cool like that. So when you're writing music and recording, you don't, you're, not, you're not picturing it, you know, some kid listening on their CD player, you're thinking about that show, is that, is that what you, you think that that's accurate? Well, I think uh, when, when you're writing and you're recording, uh, uh, the thought process is you're thinking of both. You're thinking of uh, the, the kid listening to it, you know, on his car or, you know, on his headphones. And you're thinking about the live performance. So you, you have, you know, kind of, 
you have several things going on, you know, in your mind when you're when you're writing a song and tracking a song. So you, uh, definitely, those are in the forefront of our thoughts. You know what? This it, what would surprise you is how they always grow. Uh, it, the songs just kind of, you know, when they first start out and everything. <clears throat> I try to get a demo of everything that we have on a on a CD as soon as we write it or something. So you have the the little baby version of the song and the to get one finally produced and done and out and in the store and go get the CD and you listen to it and how it sounds in your car and then you go get that old one and put it in your car the first time we went through the song and it's ooh. To see how they grow is really cool. Characterize uh, this record as definitely being our, our most edgy record. And I say that I mean it's riff oriented. There's a lot of guitar, heavy guitar riffs. It, it's exciting for guitarists, you know, myself. So uh, I feel like uh, it's the record that I've been wanting to make for a long time. This record's probably been a little more aggressive, you know, a little more heavier. Uh, we've uh, we've uh, tried some different tuning issues, you know, but we've. Uh, dropped our guitars down to C and did some songs in C, which uh, makes the song sound heavier, you know, and uh, uh, just uh, just been a little bit different this time. How did that come about like that? Is it something you, you as the guitarist really wanted to push to have it be like that, or is it just kind of organic? Yeah, you know, everything's organic. There's nothing really forced, um, but, you know, there was a, there was a lot of time where uh, I was at home, and uh, usually when I get off tour, there's, there's a period of, you know, just total decompression where I don't pick up a guitar and just try to relax and, you know, try to domesticate myself, you know, get back home. This time I really, uh, you know, kept the guitar in my hands when I got home and never really stopped. So uh, I just had so many riffs going this time and, uh, you know, it was, it was just all kind of driven out of, you know, basically sitting on my couch with uh, my guitar and a little lamp. Would you say there's a theme to this album? Um, you know what, that's, that's what we've really kind of aimed for this album, is to have a theme. And, um, but you know, this band kind of has a theme at the same time, and we've always had those songs that, that you can relate to your life. And, uh, and, and, you know, I guess this record will just be kind of more of that and, and uh, just growing in that direction. What would you say was the hardest part about making this record? Um, hardest part about making this record? I don't know. I guess the hardest part is actually writing the record, and uh, recording it's the fun part. And then going out and playing it live is the really is like the is the payoff of getting in here and writing and working and uh, and getting the songs laid down so you can go play them live. It's, it's real important for me, man, to consider myself an artist. You know, I get to. Uh, get that release valve, I guess you call it, you know, I get to express some, some things, I guess, that you normally wouldn't be able to do in, a, in some ways, you know, that you can do on a guitar that you can't in others, you know. You know, it's, what it means to me to be an artist is, uh, you know, I mean, it's the, it's the greatest thing, you know, to be able to be an artist and have a career, and uh, I, it, it's just, uh, I feel very blessed every day to, to be able to come in and create and have that outlet uh, because I've always been a creative person and to be able to put that into you know my music and be able to have this as a job it's really you know uh, it's hard to describe it's just a great thing and it's like uh, it's like a dream come true it really is as cliche and cheesy as that sounds it's just uh, it really is and uh, I'm very thankful for and I'm able to be an artist and still uh, put food on the table and have a successful career it's a great thing one of these days, I'm, somebody's gonna pinch me, you know. I'm gonna wake up, and it's all been a dream. But uh, no, nah, man, it's been a great ride, man. I wouldn't change nothing, man. We've uh, we've all, you know, we're best friends, you know, in the band. We've uh, we've got to do things that most people won't ever get to do in a lifetime together, you know. So uh, it, it's been a good experience, man. I think you have the responsibility to uh, to to hold. I mean, if you sing it, then you should live it, you know. You have a responsibility. To younger fans to be a role model you know I mean at least at least in a reasonable sense you know and uh, 
Because those kids, I, I, I remember when I went and seen shows when I was a little kid, how much kids look up to those people, you know? And, uh, and, and you have a responsibility to those kids is the biggest responsibility you have as an artist. But it's not my time.